everybody welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video uh, I'm Ganala Sirako and if you are new to my channel I would love it if you hit the red subscription button and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well I would greatly appreciate it um, before I get started I wanted to show you some new things I got and some new things I've been working on because I know you guys all said you wanted me to branch out and try some other stuff. Still continue doing the Dutch pours, um, but do a bunch of other things as well. So I wanted to show you what I was working on the other day. Uh, I will do the big flower um, resin mold by Loli Veffi um, in an upcoming video or two. It's gonna it, it takes a while because it's a multi-step um, process, which means I have to do multi-step videos then put them all together and get it ready for YouTube. But I did want to show you this. Now, if you're on my Instagram, you would have already seen this, but I made this the other day. How pretty is this? Look at that sparkle. So pretty. So this is um, a mold I purchased off Amazon. Um, it's from a company called Let's Resin. And I just happened to stumble upon it on uh, Amazon. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. And I got it in the mail uh, the other day. So these are listed in my Amazon shop. So if you click on the description below and head down to the Amazon links, you will find it in the Amazon US and the Amazon Canada um, links. I gotta check the UK one. Not sure if it ships worldwide, um, but you can also find this company on Instagram as well. So uh, if you want to purchase any of these molds, head on over to, um, to Amazon on my links and then you'll find it there in my Amazon shop. Um, but here it is and then um, I'll show you what the mold looks like. There you go. Super, super thick. Okay. Um, let me tell you though, it was a real pain to get this out of this. There's definitely a learning curve to it. I think I figured it out, but let me tell you, I struggled for a good 15 minutes just to get this thing out, but I think I got it now. So anywho, um, I got this one. And then of course there's, she sells so many other words. So I got this in the mail literally about an hour ago, Canada Post dropped it off. So believe, and I got, uh welcome and i have another one coming um i think it's family and then she also has live laugh love um so the possibilities like i mean you can do all kinds of things in here and yes i will show you a video on how i made this so this one is just used um done with crystal resin and i used um pigment powders and from crystal resin and I made this, but you can also use resin and then drop alcohol ink into it and get a completely different effect. So I will do a video on these um, and I'll do two at a time where I will do one with resin and pastes and powders and pigments and that kind of stuff. And then I'll do another one um, with alcohol inks and then I'll demold it and show you guys what the results look like. But I'm, I'm really loving this and this matches so well in my kitchen right now. It's so pretty on my island countertop. And I gotta say, I do feel blessed. I feel blessed to have all of you watching me. I feel blessed um, for all the love and support. I feel blessed to have been able to go through a massive home renovation uh, in four months and have my father help me tremendously, um, my family through all of this. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty blessed. So of course, naturally this was the first one I did, but I'm very happy with the results on that. And then I wanted to show you this. Look at my feather. How cute is this? So I did a feather. Now this mold is also off Amazon. It's not from the company Let's Resin, but it is just, um, you see that? So you put it flat on the table like this, and then you fill it with resin, and then you peel it out, and there you go. So look at the sparkles in there. So again, possibilities are endless on the colors you can do, solid, transparent, sparkle, glitter, you name it, you can do it. So this is also listed in my Amazon shop. 
And then the last thing I wanted to show you, I had some leftover resin and of course we never ever throw away resin. Um, so I threw a bunch of chunky glitter in it and I used the silicone mold from Loli Veffy. This is a square coaster mold from lolivefi.com. And I literally just poured my leftover resin and look at this, such a cute little coaster. Now, of course, Sophia, my daughter sees it and she's like, oh mommy, can I have it? I said, sure you can. So she's gonna put this in her room after I'm done showing it to you guys. Um, but yeah, so when you have leftover resin, this is where molds come very, very handy. Um, so you've seen the little teddy bear molds I have, the um, paperweight molds. When you have leftover resin, you just pour it in a mold and you end up with something. So instead of throwing it away and wasting it, you can find something to do with it. So I just wanted to show you those really quickly. Um, like I said, I will do a video on the resin flower, which I have right here for those of you who never saw it in one of my previous videos. So I will do um, a video on this. I'm just not sure when. Um, and I will definitely show you guys a video on these as well. I'll be doing some coasters with some mini Dutch pours. So lots going on. Um, okay, so in regards to today's painting, uh, I'm gonna get started on it, but I wanted to mention to you guys, it's, uh, let me show you actually. Actually, there's nothing much to show you. It's a 20 by 20 inch canvas, and I'm going to be doing a circle Dutch pour. Now, if you're a long time viewer of mine, you will have seen me do this back in February. I can't believe it's been almost a year. Almost a year, it was February, when I did my first circle Dutch pour and I did it with blues, blew it all out. And then it was such a hit that I did it again, but this time I used orange, reds and yellows and I kind of made it like a starburst. And then in May, I did another video, but this time I did a black base circle Dutch pour where I did blues and silvers and all kinds of colors and it looked amazing. So. I took a poll on my Instagram account and I asked my followers if you'd like to see another Circle Dutch pour. And of course, it was overwhelming, yes. So that is what we are going to be doing today, a Circle Dutch pour. I will um, link the videos to my first three Circle Dutch pours in the description below. And I'll also, throughout the video, link them up at the top if you wanna just click on it really easily and check out how I did it a year ago. And today's colors are gonna be my favorite, blues, purples, pinks, magentas maybe. I haven't figured that out yet, but I'm gonna get to it. So stay tuned, let me get my canvas ready and we'll get started. All right guys, I'm back. Well, back after like a whole afternoon. <laughs> I recorded the intro to this video this morning and now it's, uh, oh, I don't know, 6.30 at night. <laughs> So uh, I had a lot of things to do, but I forgot to show you in my intro, my last piece, it's almost dry. Actually, it's I think like 99% dry, but I totally forgot to show you. Look at the dry, and I'm trying to do it. Look at that. Look at that. Now, can you see the iridescent, hold on, right here, the iridescent violet blue look at that i'm so happy and it dried exactly the way i poured it it didn't even move which is so good so this in a couple of days i'll give it a couple more days we'll get um a coat of crystal resin and it'll be ready to go and i also forgot to mention see while i was in the afternoon i'll show you guys after when i get my camera off the tripod i got the welcome and the believe and I actually put resin in them. And I got another set of um, molds that came in after I recorded my intro. So I did those with alcohol ink. They're drying on this side of the table right now. And I'll show you those at the end um, as they're drying. But if anyone is interested in um, any of these, let me know. I'll show them to you when they're dry in the next piece and they'll be available for purchase. Okay, 20 by 20 inch canvas. I have already gone ahead, poured my base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Floetrol and water. And I will just pop the bubbles really quick because there's lots of air bubbles in here. 
A lot of people ask, can you use um, a hair dryer or a heat gun to pop the bubbles? No, you really need a torch. If you want it to be very effective, you need a torch. I've already gone ahead and made sure my canvas was perfectly level in all corners everywhere. Made sure that was level, okay? Now today's colors, there's no way I'm gonna even hold them up because I'm gonna use eight. Yes, that's right, eight colors. Um, I couldn't decide. I like so many colors and I wanted this to be so colorful that I just, I picked eight colors. Now, whether this is a good idea or a bad idea, we're gonna find out together. So let's see. We are going to start with Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex Basics. This is a color I haven't used in a long time. Teal Green by Deco Art. Then we have Prism Violet by Liquitex Basics. Then we have Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And then the Iridescent Precious Gold by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. And of course, I'm going to use the Iridescent Violet Blue by Pebeo again. And to top it off, Prussian Blue by uh, Grumbacher. So that is a lot of colors. And I don't think I ever used eight colors in my last three Circle Dutch pours. So this is going to be a little interesting and I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do this in my last videos. I, oh, I forgot my reds and stuff's drying over there. Way to go, Canela. Uh, I used a circle to give myself a template, but uh, I want to do a smaller circle this time. And uh, I want to put enough paint to blow it out as far as I can. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, this should be about the middle right here. And I'm going to do a really lame circle, I am sure. Because I'm no good at this stuff. Hold on. So <laughs> if that's my center, let's go. Like that. Is that even centered? Who knows? Does it really matter? Probably not. Because it's just going to get blown out anyway. So that's good enough. Let's start there. I might need some more of that magenta. It seems to be uh, disappearing. Let me just keep going and we'll see what happens. All right. It's been a while since I've done this. Almost a year. See, I almost feel like I'm gonna have to start now going, oh, drop some magenta in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, and this one, I'm gonna crisscross. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. All right. And there's a lot of bottles here. There's a lot of colors, guys. A lot of colors, but yeah, I am going to kind of redo that magenta because I've, I've lost it completely. It's the squiggles. All right. Oh boy. I don't even know if this is a lot of paint. I'm sure it's a lot of paint. All right. I'm going to kind of redo the magenta. <laughs> I'm just, I'm totally messing around now. This, this may be a disaster. I don't know. This may be a big disaster. Who knows? I almost feel like this is like a puddle, a puddle Dutch pour. One big puddle in the middle. Well, we're going to find out in a sec what happens. I'm either going to be really disappointed and scrape it and do a totally different design, or I'm going to be extremely happy. So... Let's obviously start the easy way and blow out this way and let's see what happens.
Okay, way too much paint on the canvas. So, <laughs> it's so colorful though. So I totally mucked up right here, big time. You see that, whoop. Um, but holy schmoly, it is colorful. So what I was trying to do really, really, really hard was not get the white paint. When I started blowing, I was trying not to blow the white paint into the colors because then I find it mutes the colors and makes them pastel-y and they're not as vibrant as um, they are when they come out of the bottle. So that is what I was trying to do, but I don't know if I'm extremely happy, especially this part. And unfortunately, I don't know how to fix that without scraping this part off because I can't bring it in, um, I don't think. Mm hmm, mm hmm, maybe. I'm not sure. You know what's throwing me off? This, the teal green. I'm not sure I am happy with the teal green. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was just too many colors and I'm not sure I'm happy with it. Some of you are probably screaming, don't do it, don't scrape it, leave it, I love it. Um, I just don't know if I'm happy with it. The teal green, the green. So let's see, I did this. I don't even know what order I had everything in. And then I went this and then I had this. I know I had the gold here and then this and then this and then this and this. So what I'm thinking is X nay on that and X nay on that and have just these colors here. So these six, get rid of these two. Voila. And uh, go again. I know, I know, I'm crazy. I know. I know it's crazy it really is crazy and yes it is a lot of paint um but it, it, guys if i'm not happy with it i just i don't know let me look at it again let me play with it some more yeah no 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 i'm looking at it yeah oh, see it looks okay in the camera I just don't know if I like it. I'm trying some wispies. See, and there's there's so much paint here in the center. So much paint. Yeah, you guys, you're bringing Canelo, you're ruining it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, but there's there's so much paint in the middle so much paint um i i honestly i don't like it it's uh it's too colorful if that's even like i'm looking at it it does look okay from that angle up here um but it's it's really muddy i can't i can't i can't i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry don't watch don't watch close your eyes I know, it's a lot of paint, but you know what? When was the last time you saw me scrape a canvas? It's been a while, hasn't it? It really has. Um, it's just, honestly, guys, I just, I couldn't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Okay. Scrape the top. Don't forget to scrape your sides. See, even we YouTube artists scrape our paintings. Believe me, anyone who says they don't scrape a painting is lying. They're lying. All right, so I am just going to clean off the edge here. Clean off this edge. 
because if you leave it, it will show in your next pour. Believe me, trust me when I tell you, it will show just the edges. You know, you wanna make sure you get the color off the edges. This doesn't matter. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, we're gonna get messy tonight. Look at this. All right, I think I'm good over there and I'm good over here. Oh, well, now you're going to get to see me. I'm going to put this in the garbage. Now you're going to get to see me flood my canvas. Again, stuck to some resin there. All right, so I took the two colors out. Jeez, I hope I have enough white. <laughs> da da da. She's empty. That's right, it's empty. Good thing I have another half bottle full. This is why I keep my bottles and when they're empty and I make like two or three um, uh, I fill, oops, I fill two or three of them because you just never know when you're gonna need more. All right, so I'm using my spatula, my omelet turning spatula from Amazon. I love this. Really lets me feel how much paint is on the canvas. If I use a hair dryer, I can't really feel I may be blowing too much off the canvas. So I like using the spatula. It's listed in my Amazon shop for those of you who are interested in purchasing this. It's the size large spatula. And just like that, she's clean. That's why I like it so much. Very easy to clean. Okay, I am going to, where's my squeeze bottle? So the squeeze bottle has the same stuff in here and then I just literally take my squeeze bottle and do that along the edges, just to get the edges. And then of course, you know, I touch them up um, at the end of the video. You wanna make sure your edges are covered or else the paint won't flow down the sides. Okay, so I'm gonna torch the bubbles. There's a lots of bubbles in here because I just shook that other bottle. Get all the teeny tiny air bubbles out. All right, so that is ready. Okay, let's let's go again. Let's do this again, and hopefully, um, we don't have a big mess. All right, so. What if I did a smaller circle like that? Let's try that. All right. Okay. I hope this works out. I'll be pretty bummed if it doesn't. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie if this doesn't work out the second time. I'll probably quit and I won't scrape it again. No, I can't. I don't have any more white paint. That was it. My bottles are empty, so. Okay, and Prussian blue. Uh, let's do a zigzag on this one. Okay. Two less colors. I was not happy with the teal. I didn't like it. And the gold just, I don't know. I usually, you know, I love gold, but it just didn't work for me in that one. Maybe because it was mixing with the teal, maybe because it mixed with so many other colors. I'm not really sure, but let's try it again. Here we go.
that's what I wanted. I wanted the vibrant colors. I'm going to kill myself on these cords one day. I just got to fix this, though. There's just so much goop in the middle. But I love it. I love it. It's so much prettier than the last one. Um, the colors are just more vibrant and less muddy. The other, the first pour was so muddy. Um, you may not have been able to see it from your angle up there, but believe me when I tell you there was a lot of muddiness going on. Um, but this, this I'm happy with. I just got to fix this. I got to fix this. Yeah, so there's quite a bit of paint there. What I'm going to do is... <laughs> oh my God. So much paint. Okay, I want to blow some of this into the center to get rid of the magenta circle there. And then you can, I was going to put my finger in that pile of paint. Then you can use your finger to drag it into the circle and shape it the way you want. All right, so I'm going to bear with me while I fix my circle in the middle. But I'm so much happier with this. All right. There we go. This low leaf effie scraper is like the greatest thing. I'm so quiet. I'm concentrating. Okay. Now, is there anything else I want to do on the outside? Look at my petals. They're so pretty. I love the petals. Okay, I'm not going to torch anything. I put my remote in resin. <laughs> the other side of my table is like got resin drips everywhere. And of course, I put my remote in resin. That's okay. Alcohol, rubbing alcohol will get rid of that. Okay, uh, I'm going to bring you guys down for a close-up. I'm going to fix my sides, obviously, with white, and I'll bring you guys down for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody. I have fixed my sides, and I will scrape all my edges, or my the bottom. See all those drips? Get your uh, bamboo stick, and don't forget to scrape the drips off the bottom, all four sides. There we go. All four sides, all the way around. Come back, do it again two more times. All right, so I messed with the middle again off camera. I was trying to fix it. Um, but the middle I'm eh about, but the rest, I love the colors. I love how vibrant they are. And they did not get muddy like the first time around. I love the purple. Look how rich it is. It's so rich in color. I'm really happy with the vibrancy of the colors. All right, so I'm not sure if there's gonna be much shimmer going on. I know I have the iridescence in here, but I didn't use any of like the 24 karat gold or any of the silver metallic. So let's turn the studio lights off and see what it looks like. All right, so let's see if there's any shimmer happening. I'm not really sure. I know there's gonna be some there with the metallic cobalt silver I can see, but when this dries, you can kind of see right there where that light reflection is. There's gonna be the iridescent shimmer when it dries for sure. Definitely not as much shimmer as my regular paintings, that's for sure, but the colors are vibrant. So there you have it, my Circle Dutch Pour. I don't know which ones I like better, my originals or this one. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this piece. 
And uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you are a new watcher, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to know how I mix my paints, I forgot to mention, if you want to know how to mix the paints for my Dutch pour mix, check out video number 63. I'll link it up here at the top for you. Oh, and here are the molds I was working on. So I did another blessed, and then I got these cute little moon molds. So a fairy, a cat, a unicorn, and a wolf. I will be unmolding those tomorrow, and I used alcohol inks on those. And then I have the welcome and the believe uh, drying as well. So you'll see these uh, in the next video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, have a good day. Have a good night and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.